Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hi, I am Larand and yes, this time it's time to check out all the new boats. So when we got to Timeless Tides and the Smuggler's Bay, we also got a new boat shop. So it's located right here at the entrance. I can also show you on the big map. So this is the shop, this is the new shop, this is not Deckard's boat, this is an entirely different shop. So here we have Anne, who also sells boats, and yeah, it's a really cool place, and uh, yeah, we, we're not gonna spend that much time to check it out in detail, we're just gonna jump straight into these boats. So there are currently three boats that was released at the same time when we came to Timeless Tides. So it's the Pirate Rowboat with a maximum health of 800, which is a lot for a rowboat. And a speed of 35, that won't get you far. <laughs> it has a price of 2.5 million coins. Uh, we're gonna start, just gonna buy this one. We start and take them one by one. So we buy this one, we customize it, we're gonna upgrade it. I will skip the time lapse and everything. I'm just gonna go straight to maximum health and maximum speed and here we go health 800 speed 35 and we can customize I do believe we can customize maybe the light that emits from uh, the back here on the boat uh, we're gonna try some uh, colorful lights we're gonna make it I think we're gonna make this boat pretty ugly actually but, but I really want to put some really different colors on the different pieces so you can see the difference Primary color, we can pick a uh, yeah, light green, that will be horrible. Uh, the rings, uh, some rings here on the side, I don't really know the purpose of it, but uh, let's put some yellow color on it maybe, that works. And the secondary color, uh, I think that's the stick that holds the light, I don't really, yeah it is, okay. So let's put some, uh, yeah that that's... That's really bad, <laughs> but we can't do anything with these parts, so yeah, they have to stay as they are. And we can also, of course, customize the horn. Go back, and we have it already equipped, so we're gonna take it for a spin, or whatever we can do with that boat. Yes, so here we have it, so it animates. Just like the regular rowboat. I don't think we can stand a chance in these waters with this boat. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be, I think it's going to be like a suicide mission. But uh, yeah, so we have the armored sharks. There will be a separate video covering the armored sharks and some, uh, well, techniques how to defeat them. Uh, but currently there will be no fighting. I will just try to dodge and evade those sharks. Wow, they were far out. Takes ages to reach the destination. Not even that the... Oh, there we have one. But it was really far out. And let's see. Yeah, this is going to be a trouble. <laughs> this is going to cause a, a lot of trouble. So the shark seems to take 400 hit points each time. They do jump a lot. And can I outrun them? I don't think I can. That seems to be impossible. So this boat isn't really that good in these waters. Apparently they do jump so much that they can't really hit me for some reason. <laughs> they just hit me once, but okay, they he touched me, but I didn't take any damage. Oh, and here we go. Yeah, so uh, that's, uh, that's a fail. Yeah, so as you can see, they swim just like hammerheads. You can evade them pretty easy, swimming backwards. But yeah, separate video for defeating these ones. But uh, yeah, let's go back to Smuggler's Bay. Yes, and here we are again. Let's go back to the boat shop. Boat number two. So this is the Adventure Sloop. So this is a boat that has a maximum health of 1000 and a speed of 70. It has a price of 10 million, so it's the same as the lamb boat, which is quite a lot. So we're gonna buy it, we're gonna customize it, and as before, I'm gonna fully upgrade everything. Yeah, so we're gonna just skip the time lapse. Okay, so here we have the boat fully maximized, health 1000, top speed 70. There's a lot of things when it comes to customization though, so we have Canon 2 and Canon 1. Let's see what happens if we put some bright colors. So that's like the lower portion of the cannon. As you can see, we can put some ugly... Well, we can take some yellow color. And cannon 1 seems to be... What is that? It's the actual cannon, but it's very dark though. But uh, then we're gonna put it into some... Yeah, we can put it 
like red and we have the ladder we can yeah the steps on the ladder we put a green color on it we customize the rope let's oh so the ropes are together with the sail so that's a big impact actually not only ropes apply some blue color primary color we can have uh, what can we have that's a strange combination yeah we can have uh, yeah we can have it like that and the trim pieces uh yeah that that's just horrible and secondary color i think that's like all the remaining bits and pieces can we have it like green this is one of my worst creations i think i love it <laughs> all right so let's go try it out okay so let's spawn it over here again oh <laughs> okay so it has some positions where you can stand you can stand here in the front the boat by the way has no specialties well it does have uh, cannons and i do think that they are working we're gonna try them out soon uh but you have like let's see you can't stand next to the cannon you can fire the cannons and uh, we're gonna go out from the dock for a bit so definitely faster and uh, let's see we can we're gonna try to climb up up oh, i failed gonna climb up here oh so we have a visitor here also no can't we climb i thought we could climb so what's the purpose of this platform up here if you can't climb it that's weird Oh, the sail was not solid, so I just jumped straight through it. I want to get up here. There's an obvious ladder here. You can even customize it. There's a platform up here, but I can't reach it. Can I teleport up to it? Uh, <laughs> no, no, I couldn't. I ended up over here. What? <laughs> that didn't make any sense at all. I'm going to reset just to try it out. Was this a bug or something? That's really, really strange. Let's try out the orb again. No didn't work okay i'm gonna try the boat again uh, see what's going on i didn't really understand that let's see spawn a new one can i teleport to it now yeah but it missed the boat so it was not that accurate all right what if i'm out here can i teleport to it now so if i'm in the water uh no does it take me further and further away from the boat? I don't know what's happening. It's not really working as I was hoping, at least. With a price of 10 millions, I'm not really convinced yet. Well, okay, we're gonna see if this speed is enough to avoid these uh, armored sharks. So here we have something. We're gonna see. Doesn't turn that fast. However, speed seems to be well it looks like it's good enough to actually use this as uh, boat for hunting so good to know and uh, all right so not totally convinced if this is good or bad <laughs> I, uh, the orb didn't seem to work properly i don't know if it was related to this boat i'm gonna try the bo uh, the orb on other boats that i know work also uh, we need of course to whoa okay so the sharks came anyway <laughs> i'm gonna drive away i'm not gonna drive into these guys because uh, that's not uh, so nice i need to go away here instead oh man the houseboat took them it's gonna be chaos over there so if uh, uh yeah all right we need to try the cannons of course uh Later, I will try to find out also if you can use these cannons to damage sharks and stuff like that. But uh, as for now, just take a look at the, the basic functionality of it. So I'm going to throw away something here so I can get some inventory space. Yes, this is the lava rod. I currently have it equipped, uh, but it doesn't matter. I just want to have a regular fish. So we have one right here. We're going to fire it. Let's see. Uh, fire cannon like that we can see the fish also and it uh, shot the fish away we can do it one more time so we can see how far it went so we got a new one and uh, gonna equip the fish like that and fire the cannon and uh, yeah because of the wave it shot it straight down in the water not that efficient i doubt it could do any damage on anything i can't really aim with it or something like that 
But still, it could be fun to have anyway. I mean, it's a working cannon. That in itself is just great. And let's see. So if I shoot now instead, it should go much higher. Yeah, much, much longer. So I was using the wave a little bit so I can get the barrel a little bit higher. And then it's of course, it makes a longer shot, which is great. So that will be all for this bot. I'm going to try the orb ones just one more time. And it did fail horribly. So... <laughs> I don't know if it's something with the orb. I'm going to try a regular boat just to see if it's related to this boat. So here we have a good old classic lamb boat. I'm going to jump into the water. I'm going to try the orb just to see. Yeah, it works. So it has to be something with that boat and orb that's not currently working. But hopefully it will be fixed soon. So let's see. Try it again. Yeah. No problem at all. So something with the boat and the, <laughs> and the orb. All right. But then I should also, of course, test the rowboat and the orb as well. To see if it's something related with the, all the new boats. Or if it was just this one. So let's go back to... Where have we... Where is it? Oh yeah, I got these ugly colors. I couldn't find it first. Uh, let's see. So here we have that boat. I'm going to use the orb. And it seems to be working just fine. So... It was very much uh, boat related, it seems. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the third boat. So this is the big masterpiece, Brig. Armed with cannons, this ship will help you conquer the seven seas. Well, we have two seas now, so or oceans, so it's a good start at least. <laughs> Maximum health of 2300 and a top speed of 80. Comes in at a price of 15,000 gems. We're gonna spend a little bit of gems, of course, 15,000, like that. We're gonna maximize everything. And there we go. Health, 2,300, speed 80. And as you can see down here, this is a crazy amount of customizations. I don't think I ever seen this much customizations on a single boat. Uh, must try it out, of course. So we have Canon 2 and 1, just like the, the previous boat. And I do believe it's gonna do the same thing. But we need to try it out. So it looks like the lower part of the Canon is Canon 2. And we're gonna put the same, actually. We put that reddish color on the actual barrel of the, of the Canon. Front. What's front? Okay, so this is the front. Gonna put some really nice color to this boat, obviously. And uh, what's this extra? So that's part of the front. Extra 2 is... Is it like a part of the railing? Something like that. We can take a closer look once we are at the boat. Rudder. Where is that? Well, hopefully where the rudder should be. Let's see if the model just spins around. Yes, here we have it. No big surprise. Primary color. Oh yeah. <laughs> that made that made it look really bad excellent extra three what's that uh, need to pick some more weird colors so we have extra three is these details here on the mast trim two where is that uh, i need to find it i'm not sure where i can find it to be honest but we can put it in this bright color and see if we can find it it should be here somewhere but i don't know where trim Regular trim, what's that? Okay, so that's like the main railing of the boat. Put it like red. Lights, that's of course the light of the boat. So we can try out a red color. Or maybe something else, I don't know. We can maybe put uh, put a pink color. We have the sail, we can have a white sail. We have the stairs, which I believe is this part. We're gonna see. It is. Awesome. And we have the lantern. Where is the lantern? So many things to watch on this boat. Uh, can't tell from here, but uh, yeah, I see it now. It's underneath the, I think it's like the main sail or something. Oh, also here in the front. So there's like three positions of the lanterns. Nice. And uh, yes, here we have 15,000 spent of gems on one ugly creation. Well, an ugly color scheme i should say because the boat itself yeah this one looks cool really cool looks a little bit stretched here though but we're gonna try it out oh did i put neon colors on the sail <laughs> oops oh that's blinding all right so let's see the boat itself did we find that piece that i couldn't localize i can't see it should be like a very very bl bright blue 
but uh, yeah i don't really know where that belongs so yeah it is what it is a lot of customizations nevertheless and i do believe that uh, we're not gonna have any problems to outrun any armored sharks here as well i'm gonna find a few just to try it out and here we have a few and as we can see not really a problem at all so that's good uh we need of course to try the light because it was colored light and i see something happening when i turn it on not really sure uh let's see oh we had <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry we had some kind of collision there i didn't observe that uh so we have the light on currently we can turn it off turn it on so very very small change of the light so you can see the lanterns here and when i toggle it on and off that's what you do it doesn't really show anything uh, that it is on i believe if i turn it off is this the light maybe no it's maybe the sail i think that's like the sail or something so not really a strong color cannons i do believe they work as the <laughs> the previous boat but we're gonna try it out of course this time we can maybe shoot in the direction of these boats over there <laughs> see what if something happens i doubt anything will happen but it's just for testing so we have a fish which is perfect we're gonna line up the boat which is also perfect see we're gonna position ourselves over here somewhere as yeah, so i think uh, the marianne over there will be a great target gonna load up the fish here we go ah, it's a good shot i think i actually shot over the marianne inside smuggler's bay but yeah it is what it is <laughs> the cannon works and that's good enough for me okay so those were the three new boats that we got here in timeless tides and smuggler's bay all right so let's get back and i will also of course cover many other topics in other videos because i i just want to keep the episodes a little bit shorter because i mean this is long enough as it is so i'm gonna also cover axes i'm gonna cover the armored sharks i'm gonna cover also the shard quests that you can get up here in the tavern and we're gonna take a closer look at all the fishes so there's a lot of more things that remains to come. So stay tuned for those episodes. Uh, I have started parts of those recordings. But uh, yeah, in any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about these boats, please put them below. Like this video. If you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator, please subscribe. And yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone. <laughs>